Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today we're building a sand slinging, fast drifting thing. I'm not really sure what I'm building. I've, I'm going to kind of wing it this uh, episode. I've, normally I have some sort of plan and I have a clue as to what I'm doing. Today I don't. Today we're going to just build something. Uh, I've already built a base. If you watched any of my episodes, you've seen me build bases before, so we're going to go ahead and just skip out on that, and we're going to go ahead and go straight into a build here. Now, as far as what I'm building, uh, maybe I'm going to be, maybe it's going to be kind of like a, a race car type look, I'm not really sure, or maybe a Formula One or a prototype look. Now, all I know is I wanted to make it look very uh, aerodynamic, so we're going to add some wings to the front, some angles, some slants, whatever we need to do here. So let's go ahead and start building out the front here, and let's put some in the middle. Uh, maybe we should go ahead and we're going to cover up the wheels, we're going to make it look like one big pod. So that's that's something we can do. Um, I'm going to I'm going to try to stick to the same blocks here. I like the way these uh these blocks that I'm using here look. It kind of keeps the whole vehicle itself uniform. You know, makes it look the same. I don't like I don't like using a bunch of random blocks. So let's we're going to stick it all with the same blocks here. Also, another thing you might notice uh, the front suspension. Well, the lack of front suspension. I'm probably going to make do the same way in the back. I'm going to just get rid of what I have back there right now. Um, I know a lot of people are probably wondering, well, why, I'm, why am I doing that? Well, it's because I want this thing to be really stiff. I want it to jump around a lot. At least in my head, I, I want it to jump around. and I, I figure it's a little easier to make it drift whenever you've got a really stiff, uh, stiff suspension. If you have a big suspension on it, the vehicle tends to sink down and then once you start turning the vehicle leans a lot and if you don't have like really big wheels or something to lean onto I'm using the small wheels here the vehicle tends to just dig in and not really turn that well and it doesn't like to drift out so we're gonna test it with the uh, with no suspension we can always add it in later uh, maybe I'll do it both ways and just test it out kinda as like a proof of what I'm thinking in my head so let's go ahead and continue to build the base, the front end. I'm gonna put some doors on it. Uh, maybe we'll do a maybe a suicide type door, or uh, I'm not really sure. I haven't really decided, but we'll go ahead and work on those. Uh, fill the front out a little bit more. Put some more angles. Put some more wings on the front. Just make it all sorts of exciting or busy looking. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and. Fill out the front. I need to. I'm gonna like I said. I'm gonna cover the whole. You're not gonna be able to see any of the wheels. I don't want any of that exposed. So we're gonna go ahead and work on that. We'll do some doors here. All right. Uh, I've got a prototype for the doors here. A uh, most suicide doors actually come out a little bit and then open up to the sides. I want to test just making it just go straight for the side open instead of poking out a little bit. I've seen people do it before in scrap mechanic. I've watched quite a few videos. Just get an idea of how other people build but you know I'm not even really sure I'm gonna keep the doors I, I don't know uh, one weird thing about scrap mechanic once you uh, once to get into the any seat you just look at it and click E but to get out of a seat it ejects you out the top most times and that doesn't really like to work in closed vehicles I've mentioned this before in my videos that you always kind of have to have some sort of way out the top, whether it be like a sunroof or what I'm probably going to put on this vehicle is some sort of hatch on the top of it. That way I can, if I know I'm getting out of it, I click the button, open the hatch, and then once I pop out, I'll just shoot out right, right out the top. There is nothing more frustrating in Scrap Mechanic than getting stuck inside your creation. So that's probably what I'm going to need to do on the top. And that might even be the way I'm going to go into the vehicle. I might not keep these doors. These are just kind of place ho uh, placeholders right now. I'm going to I'll build around them and keep working with them, but I'm not sure I'm going to keep them. Uh, the block I'm using here, though, I I've used this before. This is the uh, stair block, and this one I think would look kind of cool for like a uh, almost like a side railing or something where a side step that you can step on to and into the cockpit. Uh, make sure it clears here. It does. Uh, I'm going to somehow connect the wheel wells into this and 
I'm going to use some angles and make it look as aerodynamic as possible. Like I said, the game itself doesn't have an aerodynamic model, uh, and that's one thing why I don't do a lot of like air builds, because a lot of things you think about, like, oh, I need big wingspans, I need things that are going to make this turn and fly around and soar and it doesn't it the game's not there yet and i don't know if that's a place the game's going i'm not really sure uh hopefully it is i'd like to see as many features implemented i like to, for it to be as realistic as possible as far as the uh, physics go so hopefully that's planned in the future i'm not really sure i can't speak for the developer so i don't know let's continue to do this side pod here uh the block i'm working with is a little tricky this uh uh, this, uh, let's, um, something doesn't look right here. Okay, I'm trying to match this up. Uh, like I said, the, one of the blocks I'm working with here, it doesn't, the sides aren't the same on each side, on each side. It's like, and it's, if you see me flipping a block around like crazy, it's because I'm trying to find the right side. Uh, so, yeah, if you, if that's something you guys notice, well, that's, that's what's going on there. Let's see. Go ahead and put those out to the side here. Make these pods. Like I said, I, this build, I just wanted to wing it. I wanted just, just to start building something. I, 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 mean, I had some general clues like what, what am I, what am I going to build? But and that's kind of why you see me in the flat terrain. I want, I want it just a really wide open space. That way I can go just wide open, have plenty of area. Don't have to worry about running into anything. Now, for my builds coming up, I've got some ideals. Uh, the world that I was talking about in my last video, that's that's still an ideal of mine. Uh, Scrap Mechanic recently, I think just a couple days ago, came out with an update that fixes a lot of these corrupt saves, and it actually fixed the save for that world. Now, for some reason now, it runs terrible, so I'm going to have to go in there and try to figure out what's causing it to run the way it is. But if I can get that fixed that world might still be a thing. Uh, it was the world where I did the monorail in. You know, I had a lot of track in it. Uh, I had it going all the way across the map. So, that's still a plan. I gotta kinda get everybody else on board too and see if we can put that together for you guys. So, I figured I might as well go in here and just continue to do some episodes and do some builds while we're still working on that. So, that's kinda where the ideal for this thing came up with. And also, uh, I've seen some viewer requests. I'm gonna try to do some of those here, maybe during the week. Uh, I've already, I'm already working on one. I got one out last week, so got a lot of things planned for the channel here, and I'm probably gonna do a uh, channel update video here fairly soon, and just kind of run through some of the things that I have planned because, honestly, the growth, uh, I mean, it's far exceeded what I thought it was going to do within its first month. I've, I've only been doing this for one month, so. Uh, I already had, I think my channel was already at like 25,000 views, which, and a lot of it is to, it is probably more a timing thing, the scrap mechanic, I have, I have a lot to think because of scrap mechanics, so, anyway, so I'm gonna quit talking about that, we'll go over that in another video. What I'm doing now, I'm trying to build a roof, I'm trying to figure out, the scrap mechanic character always sets really high in the seat for some reason, and it, it, it kind of looks unnatural, so a lot of times you have to build your vehicles really big. So, I'm going to try to see if I can make it clear his head here. Um, that's, nah, of course that's not going to work. Let's go ahead and delete those and we'll start putting some more on here. I want to keep this vehicle really slick looking, like really kind of low, but that's that's always really hard to do. Like, and I want it to have a roof. I don't, I don't want it to just be open. So, I'm going to try to work with it here and see what I come up with. I'm, a little worried about looks, but I don't know I can always, you know, do some other things to kind of maybe distract you from the fact that you know the top's really kind of tall. And this is the block I was talking about. This thing, trying to get it right. Uh, that might be nope. That's not it. That there we go. Yeah, that block is that block's a pain. And I screwed it up on this side too. So there we go. I think we got it. Got it looking good on both sides here. Okay. Um. Let's go ahead and put this piece across. I'm still debating on those doors. I'm 100% happy with those. Um. Let's see. That. That still doesn't look right. Yeah. Okay. Now it's penetrating my head. 
One more up. I don't I don't think I actually really moved. I really just moved that back, didn't I? Oh well. We'll delete that and we'll go one more block higher and then we should clear my big head. Yeah. I think. Maybe. I don't know. The more I look at it, the more I start to doubt myself. Let's go ahead and, uh, while I'm over here, let's give this a little bit more of an angle here. Try to vary it up. I don't want it just to be like one straight slant up the whole front end. I like adding all sorts of different wings and parts and pieces. And also, I got to build up over the wheels and just completely cover those up. So, hopefully, this turns out pretty cool. Let's see. I still cannot get this right. There we go. Okay, that looks good there. Alright, let's go ahead and go over to this. This this thing, this, this block drives me nuts. But I want to use it because it looks good, so. Um, playing this off of my head. Let's go ahead and widen this out because I'm not clearing the wheel here. And then we'll build over it. Like I said, this kind of reminds me of, I want to, probably shouldn't say Formula 1 because they normally have just a wing on the front, but maybe more like a prototype, like an LMP1 or something. Something that, uh, I mean, the whole front end is just made for, like, aerodynamics. It's just downforce. It's just a really cool looking front end. Mine, of course, is not that slick. It's not as low as, like, an LMP1. Uh, it's just kind of the blocks I'm dealt with in Scrap Mechanic. Hopefully we get some more shapes and sizes and different things in the future. But I think it actually looks kind of cool. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Anyways, let's see. Let's go ahead and get back up here to the top. Uh, let's try to finish this roof off. Open that, make sure we're clear in here. And let me go ahead and fill that out. I'm trying not to make this thing look hollow, but I think once I cover up the wheels, we'll be good. We'll be we'll be in fairly good shape. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and put that top piece on. See if we uh, clear my uh, noggin here. There's one there, one there, and uh, this is gonna go across. And this should clear. We should be good to go here. Yeah, that'll work. All right, I filled up the front. I've done a little bit to the back. I'm going to actually add... This thing's stubby. So we're going to add some wheels to the back. We're going to make it a little longer. I don't know how this is really going to affect it handling-wise. Like, it's not going to be a full-blown drifter. I'm not going for, you know, drift car, sideways. And it's probably not going to drift as much as my moon drifter did. I'm really going for just like a fast, low car that slings around a little bit. Uh, handling wise I don't know how good it's gonna handle like I said this is flat terrain but I've had so many vehicles on this flat terrain that they, they act weird once you get even if you put suspension on them once you get to a certain speed the game kind of starts to freak out a little bit and everything starts to bounce around the tires start bouncing and the whole vehicle catches and it's I don't know if it's a physics thing in the game or really what it is but I don't know hopefully it turns out and hopefully it works pretty good uh, let's see. Go ahead and put those. And, like I said, if I need to add suspension, I'll be able to lift this thing, put this thing on a lift, cut the wheels out of it, add a shock, throw some more, uh, bearings and wheels back on it, and it should be good to go. It might set a little taller. I don't know. Uh, that's, that's gonna be probably something we're gonna wind up trying anyways. I don't know, we'll see how it handles. I mean, if it comes out of the box and handles really great, and just, you know, it's awesome to drive probably won't do it but if it isn't we're, we're, we'll probably get that a try it does drive pretty good here it's spinning I, I can make it drift out and spin quite a bit but I don't know it just it doesn't look long enough of course if once I start adding rockets to the back of it and making all that it it might turn out pretty good uh, one thing I need to do let's go ahead and do that hatch before I forget about it uh, the hatch is gonna be a real simple design one bearing on one side it should just pop open I'll I'll make it pop open by default as soon as I take it off a lift. That way I can just jump into it and then I'll probably map a button in the cockpit and make it close. One thing you always have to be careful of when you're building stuff like this, like doors or anything that you want to open up, always be careful with you know with how you're attaching the blocks. If I were to attach it to one of those side blocks like that are on the railings of the roof, it wouldn't work. So you've got to be careful what you're doing there. So let's go ahead and hook that up to a controller in the back. As you can see, it's back here. Um, oh, 
Okay, well, one and two, I, st I accidentally still have these attached. I need to get rid of those. Those were where the uh, doors were. So we'll get those taken care of. Let's go ahead and three is going to actually probably turn into one once I delete these front two bearings. And that opens up. That looks good. So let's go ahead and take care of these bearings. Delete one here and let's delete the other. Oh, crap. Ah, that's not good. <laughs> not again. I'm really tired of my inventions doing this. Alright, well, I'm going to go chase this thing down. Hopefully it stops at the end of the map. Okay, I've caught my vehicle. It took me 10 minutes because it went to the other side of the map, thought it was going to stop, it bounced off the invisible wall and shot back and drove all the way back across. And finally I managed to get in front of it and put the lift on it. Anyways, I've added more to the base. I've come back further. I, I even added some more wheels. I want this thing just to be ridiculous and kind of big. Um, is it practical? I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work, but I thought, eh, might as well try it. Like I said, we're, we're winging it today, so. Let's see. We've got all those hooked up. Let's go ahead and boost the engine to full. It's probably going to need quite a bit of power because there's a lot of weight here. Uh, really what I'm going to do next, I'm uh, probably going to start putting some of the rockets in. And The whole back of this thing is ju just going to be a shell. Uh, I don't need to add the excess weight, so I need to keep it hollow on the inside. Just keep it you know, as light as possible. I mean, especially given the uh, block I'm using is actually a fairly heavy block. So let's go with three, three thrust, uh, thrusters, and maybe we'll add another three on top of those, maybe. Um, let's see... Let's go ahead. We're going to need to make this body even wider. Uh, it'll come out a little further here because we've got to clear these back wheels too. Everything, I believe, is going to turn off the front though. Uh, that always helps. Like I don't want to make the back wheels drive or turn also because it's just going to make the car handle good. But I kind of want it to throw around. I want the uh, I want it to slide around. I'm not, ne I'm not necessarily going for a drift, but maybe something close to it. Let's see. Go and add more wings, some more slants, angles, work with this block, and I'm going to just fill this back out. I'll probably cut it out of the vi uh, video. Like I said, the only thing I'm going to do is just make a shell around it, so you're probably not going to miss anything. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do to the back of it, though. Maybe I'm going to put some wings on it. I'm not not 100%, but uh, we'll see what we do here. Also, I need to finish this roof up and slant it down. So, Other than that, we should be good to go here. All right. Put the shell on. Like I said, it's just really basic. You didn't miss anything. Uh, we're going to add the wings here. I'm thinking just a wing on each side, like a kind of almost like a fighter jet. Uh, what this is kind of reminding me of is almost like so one of those F-Zero cars. You know, I made a F-Zero video a couple videos ago, and then now I'm realizing once I'm building this, it kind of looks like a another one that was, like, it doesn't look like the one that I built, but it looks like another one of the ones that I saw in a picture. This one doesn't float, of course, I'm keeping this on the ground, but just something that it looked like. Anyways, add some cosmetics. Alright, I've added some simple, I didn't want to overdo it with the cosmetic items, I added some bars to the side, it looks like, almost like bars you can climb up to get up to the top, I added like a big ridiculous motor that pops out the back. Anyways, to get into it here, we just climb on the front of it, and we'll drop down into it. Hit the one button, close the uh, canopy up, and we should be good to go here. The uh, inside looks fairly cool. It's real cozy. Uh, I need to switch a couple blocks around because they're aiming the wrong way, but other than that, it's it's good to go. Uh, right now, we're just going to drive it off. This is driving off the motors. Of course, it doesn't have too much speed. Oh, what we're really going to be driving off of is the thrusters in the back, so let's kick those up. There we go. It, it's a little bouncy. It bounces. This is just like a scrap mechanic thing. Once you get to a certain speed, it seems like it's really hard to keep your creations on the ground. But yeah, it drips out. It's 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 kind of cool how it uh oh oh that was violent. And we can land. Hey, we're back on all. Well, I would say fours, but we've got a lot more wheels than that. Okay, so let's get going here. Let's kick it around. And like I said, you just kind of jab the uh steering wheel to one side and kick it out and then the uh, thrusters kind of carry the back end around and it makes it slide it's it's fairly fun uh, it reminds me a little bit of the moon drifter how it handles uh, it's not quite as severe as far as the sliding and it just spinning around but it uh, it's pretty fun to drive here 
Um, I'm going to probably just, this is probably going to be the final design, but I think I'm going to go in and go ahead and put the suspension on it just to test it out to see if it's any better. Like I said, it does bounce, but I don't really think it's, it's not catching any worse. Like, I really think it's just kind of the way Scrap Mechanic is right now when you get to, like, ridiculous speeds. But we're going to go ahead and throw a suspension on there, see what happens. Uh, but I'm, I'm actually happy for just something that I'm just winging it, you know, as far as the build goes. I'm fairly happy with the way this one came out. Uh, it looks pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and throw that suspension on and see what we can do. Let's just go ahead. Let me do one more run here, just kind of keep it straight line. Yeah, it's just the way it bounces back and forth. Just trying to see what kind of speed we can get. It's definitely fast, but I just wish it was a little more stable. So maybe the suspension will fix that, but I'm I'm kind of doubting it. It does it does kick out. It's those back thrusters really do uh, swing it. Uh, let's see. Also, I might have overdone it with the wings in the front. I'm not really sure all the angles and stuff, but I don't know. Just kind of make it ridiculous. So yeah, let's go ahead and. Hit that, get it to climb out, and we'll go ahead and work on the suspension here. Alright, uh, pretty simple, just threw suspension pieces on. I, I added one more layer to the bodywork because it was setting really, really high off the ground. I didn't like the way it looked. But let's see if this works any bit different. I have a feeling it's going to dig maybe a little more. Yeah, it definitely doesn't turn as good as it did before. Like that, That's kind of something that I was fearing. But it, it it's still bouncy. Uh, like I said, I, I didn't think I was going to fix that. But uh, that's going to probably do it for this build. Like I said, this just came out of my head. We're st still got some other builds planned. I think maybe next I'm looking at doing some sort of, like, as far as a solo build, I've got like a rock climbing or hill climb vehicle that I'm going to do in the uh, terrain. But we'll. Uh, I'm also going to have a channel update probably coming out within the next day or two. And we'll kind of explain what we're going to be doing and the plans for the future. So... Like I said, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, you can always subscribe or hit the like button. Anything helps. Uh, I appreciate it. And like I said, thank you, guys. We'll see you next time.